There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Hello, welcome to Lifeline with Comfort. This is a program designed to equip, empower, inspire, motivate you to awaken the giant within you. Last week, I was on a mini holiday because my, I had my birthday on 14th of June and it was a great time even in God's presence. I thank everyone for celebrating with me. The scripture I just quoted was from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. And my story today will be taken from the book of John, chapter 8. There was this woman that was accused by the scribes and the Pharisees. She committed adultery. Yeah, adultery was an offense that, uh, that was punishable by stoning or killing or whatever you might call it. And they brought this woman before Jesus. And I want you to see how Jesus treats the issue of accusation or condemnation. And they brought this woman and they wanted to stone her. And in fact, that act was to test what Jesus would say. They've been accusing Jesus for uh, not keeping the law of Moses and all the laws they knew. So Jesus knew they were about to test him. And guess what he did? He looked to the floor and wrote something on the floor. And the accusers, when he finished writing, lifted up his head and said, uh, if you have no sin, cast the first stone. And once he said that, when they looked up, when he looked up, unfortunately for the woman and the whole situation, nobody was there. And he looked at the woman and said to her, where are your accusers? And the woman said, I can't find them. And he said, go and sin no more. I do not condemn you. I'm here to tell somebody today that whatever you have done in your past has gone with the past. God is ready to pick you from where you are and take you to your next level. If you surrender, Jesus is not condoning sin or encouraging us to stay in sin, but he's, not, he's neither condemning you or accusing you. If you've done anything that does not please the Lord, ask him for forgiveness. He is faithful enough to forgive you. And guess what? Condemnation keeps us in our past. Condemnation keeps us where the enemy wants us to stay. You can't move forward to the next level. I'm here to decree upon your life, whatever has condemned you, Sometimes you may have condemned yourself, whatever it is, God is taking you to the next level in Jesus' name. No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. As you decide to stay knitted with the Holy Ghost, as you decide to stay, stay um, each second, growing in your faith, growing in grace, the Lord will help you pass through everything that the enemy has kept you bound in, in the name of Jesus. You are not condemned, you are set free. Thank you for staying tuned to listening to me today. Next week, I'll be here right on time to bring the word of life to you at the comfort of your home or wherever you are. I love and appreciate you. The Lord bless you and make his face to shine upon you. Please follow me on all social media platforms. On uh, Instagram and on Facebook, I'm Official Comfort Adejo. And on Twitter, I'm Comfort Adejo. Same as YouTube. Subscribe and the Lord bless you and make his face to shine upon you. Amen.